July 3rd, um, 2023. We'll have an emergency meeting tonight to discuss um, authorizing Chris to um, do the, our work in our office. So Chris, do you wanna just discuss what you've talked to um, Lisa about this morning? Sure, so um, I have essentially for the past few days while the town administrator is away dealing with a personal matter, um, I've been filling in in a number of different ways to make sure that necessary work gets done. Um, and what we're looking for from this meeting is essentially an emergency authorization um, to sign just general uh, town business documents mm -hmm. in her place while she's away. Um, and while we don't know the exact time frame, I think it might be something just to kind of have indefinitely and then we could require another formal vote for when she's back and that authorization isn't required anymore. Um, I think I think that's good idea. Pretty much where we are. If that makes sense to everybody. Yep. So I'll make a motion to uh, uh, approve Chris Nolan to sign uh, in, in in our town administrator's stead um, the any town administrator business that normally would be signed by by Casey. Second. Is there any further discussion on this? Hearing none. All those in favor? Tim Elche, aye. Trevor McDaniel, aye. Carolyn Nessa, aye. And thank you very much, Chris, for stepping up. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you all for your support. And what I would like to know, though, is there other, do you think that there's other help? I mean, it's 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 hard enough for two people all day long. Um, we might want to look at getting some extra help just in the short term, you know, to see what, you know, or maybe lay, play it out for a week or so and see where we're at. And then um, we want to make sure we're supporting you any way we can. So if you need some, some help, you know, whatever we can do to help. And uh, if we need to try and find somebody to help in, in the meantime. Um, we also have we're, have some vacancies in the um, treasure collector's office. Um, just want our treasure collector is out for, um, for a little bit of time on personal issue as well. And then our assistant clerk is going to be out, I think for a while too. So, um, so there, uh, we were thinking, you know, just reaching out to maybe Alex might want to come in if we could reach out and see if there's anywhere that he could help. I, I asked, yeah, I asked Chris to work to reach out to him. Did you have any success? Chris? I didn't have a chance to reach out to him today, um, yeah. but I, I definitely intend to. Great, that'd be great. Even if he could help in that office to alleviate some help or maybe float between the two, whatever else we could do to sweeten the pot for him yeah. <laughs> he's always very good and no, no, knowledgeable to help out wherever he can and um yeah i can't say enough good things about his willingness to kind of jump in wherever is needed and yeah his flexibility and knowledge about how the different offices are run it's right pretty remarkable. I, I was also talking to brenda a little bit about you know the structure in that office and um we might want to think about uh changing up kind of what we were going to do with the clerk and the assistant town clerk um it might be a good idea to um you know uh, post that clerk job again like we would have to go through a posting again for the clerk's job instead of assistant clerk and then notify people who maybe have applied before brenda said there was some stuff we'd need to check with lisa on or kate on and just make sure that we're doing it correctly but it might be a case where we'd want to hire full-time clerk and then hire a part-time assistant clerk and we could talk about that later but just some thoughts on that um sure. just so we can get some staff and i know brenda still needs to hire for her position and um i feel like there's one other but i think maybe that's it so the full-time clerk we don't have one correct right now we have uh we've hired um Cassie as a assistant clerk and it might might uh, want to post that again um, and see who applies for the full-time clerk and then kind of flip-flop what we were going to plan to do we are planning to hire a clerk at part-time uh, I mean yeah a full-time uh, the clerk at, at part-time but it might be um, a better solution to post that for full-time and uh, do the assistant as part-time. Just talking with uh, Wendy, 
you know, she, Wendy Hewell from Sunderland, who's a town clerk, she kind of helped us out and kind of got a lay of our office and, and the skills that we have currently and thought, um, you know, maybe, maybe to switch that around a little bit. So we, we currently have a full-time assistant clerk. We do. We currently so have. Yep, we Kathy. will be authorizing additional staffing hours, right? Well, uh, we would post that job instead of posting. We looked at the budget, or Brenda looked at the budget, and if we uh, hired the clerk, uh, posted for a full time clerk, and then hired for a part time assistant clerk, the money would just flop a little bit, but we still have it all covered in our budget. And um, my guess is Cassie would probably apply for that full time clerk job. Um, and then, of course, it has to go out to the public legally for everybody to, you know, to apply. Um, but it might be a good opportunity for that change and then just get a, you know, part time help. So if we, um, yeah, I, I we'll have to think about that. Yeah, a little. Just for thinking, sure. Um, yep. You know, if somebody who's very well qualified to be the clerk um, and Cassie doesn't get selected, then we're in a position of trying to reduce hours. Um, if we want yep. the assistant to be part time. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's just a thought. Of but course. Yep. We'd have to that is something I, to be careful of for sure. Yep. It is tough right now because we get two people out in that, that office. Thankfully, it's summer. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for the work they have to do. Mm. Well, yeah, year end right now, or yeah, it's year end, and then the um, all the sewer bills are coming in, tax bills. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, anyways, just want to mention that we could talk later on it. Um. So, do we want to? Do you want to hit on anything that was like urgent right now that we need to address, or? Well, um. I had Chris post the meeting for Thursday so we could do oh. follow up on, um, you know, like sunny days or mm -hmm. any, any other business that, you know, that we are aware of yep. that should be dealing with. Um, I Did you post it as a hybrid, Chris, or it's just virtual? I did post it as hybrid, um, but if everybody is virtual, that's fine. I can just make sure the room is open. Um, well, Tim and I have a SCIMS meeting at six, so. Right. I'll be here. I'll, I'll just come oh, to okay. the town hall, okay. so we'll cover uh, that. And yeah. it's five o'clock, right? Yeah. Five o'clock. We're Okay. Just in case, I don't, I don't oh. know what we can do between now and Thursday, but um, anything that we can do, I'd like to move forward with on uh, sunny days mm -hmm. and because I feel so badly about that. And Chris was going to investigate um, why our e-signature paperwork hadn't been filed up at the courthouse. Is it filed now or just need, do we still need to do anything? No. I'm not sure what it entails. I think right. there's one specific form needed that I, I just need to find who has and track it down. Um, right. I, I sent a lot of emails today about various things, that being one of them, but I, I think... Okay. With the holiday weekend, there are a lot of yeah. offices closed today, and it was kind of hard to hear back from people. So yeah, um, we'll yeah. check later on the week. Okay. Yeah, hopefully by Thursday, I'll have more uh, satisfactory updates for you all on specifically the sunny days matter because yeah. that is something that we want to make sure we're keeping the ball rolling on. Yep. And uh, and I and Tre Trevor, was there anything else that we needed to do for like the sewer or anything that you were aware of that we're not doing? No, we've got. Um... No, I think we're in pretty good shape there. Uh, you know, we did we signed the change order the other day. I've got a meet. We've got the meeting on. Um, let's see, that would be Wednesday. Well, yeah, Wednesday at one is our monthly meeting, so I'll get some updates there on how everything's going. But I think we're in cruise mode right at the moment. Everything seems to be m moving along good. We've got power. We switched over, so a lot of the big stuff happened for getting power there. So. Yeah, I'll have more data on that on Wednesday. Well, for Thursday's meeting, I'd give an update on where we're at. I know we have to deal with uh, the neighbor and just kind of getting an MOU on, you know, tree planting and or mound planting or and working with Lisa on that. I know Kevin was reaching out with Casey on trying to what to do there to, to um, you know, make it look presentable for the neighbor, but, you know, not go crazy, just trying to, you know, be fair about 
making sure it looks good and giving them the privacy that they need and we need to put the fence up and move the fence that kind of thing yeah so the gate needs to go up yeah so All that's right. just something to work on there but other than that is, is, is there any more um any clearer picture of how how much money might be left over um solar i'm thinking so i could i can find out how much is is going to be left i know we wanted to you know use up everything we could but yeah i'll, I'll see if there's anything left to do something like that you know versus and, different yeah because then you know we we could um i don't know if dpc is the person that would do it but look for a third party mm -hmm. solar installer um it doesn't, doesn't need to be you know water line right probably not their expertise probably wouldn't, right they might yeah they probably would sub it anyways but i think um you're thinking on the process building with that facing south building you yep. know thinking on any building where it's you know oriented mm -hmm. enough that it would make a difference even if it's oh. not directly south um a lot of times you can still get yeah five to ninety percent of what you sure. would have gotten otherwise yep um since it's going to be an energy hog mm -hmm. and if you know you can do a lot with thir 300 uh last time we were talking about three hundred thousand or something oh okay uh, megawatts you know, so or whatever 50,000 to 200,000 you can put a lot of panels up yeah 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 there, there will be some contingency left and um yeah we'll figure that out I'll talk to him about it on Wednesday see what and the last do. thing um I wanted to mention tonight is just um uh Chris knows that I'm interested in doing this is to try and post the planner economic developer um the other one <laughs> yeah no need to wait i um, mean but he has to find the i think you said you found the final version that personnel approved i did um yeah i found the version that was approved by them that's all set it's posted on the website all that i need to have go with it in terms of posting to the mma page to indeed to a number of other places that we've talked about um is the vacancy notice which is pretty brief i i just need to create it okay great Perfect. that's great sounds good is there anything chris you want to bring up before we adjourn i don't think so thank you all for agreeing to meet on such short notice i appreciate again the confidence in me to carry out the business of the town and uh if anybody has any questions for me i'll be around all week appreciate that very much you're doing Even tomorrow not tomorrow. I'll be, I'll be reachable by email tomorrow <laughs> okay. if you for anything urgent. No. You really are dedicated. Yes, he is. <laughs> All right. All right. So All right. I'll take a motion to adjourn. I might make that motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Tim Hilchi, aye. Governor McDaniel, aye. Carolyn Ness, aye. So that's you. Thank you.